On October 21st, 2022, a man named Orlin Escoto was eating lunch in his parked car. Officer Thibault of the Hardyville Police Department approached the vehicle. Mr. Escoto recorded the interaction on his phone. What's going on, man? Nothing. You own, you know the people that own this property? I don't answer questions. Huh? I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? No, sir. All right, I'm Officer Tebow with the Hardyville Police Department. Nice I to meet you. I just want to let you know I'm out with you, okay? It's just because you're in this property. Okay. Okay? Just checking to see if you know the people that own this place. Okay. We've had people drive through the yard and, and cause some damage. I understand. That's it. So if you don't know them and you're not supposed to be here, then you need to leave the property. Okay? Is that fair? I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? No, I'll tell sir. you what, you got your driver's license on you? For what, sir? Because I'm getting out with you because you're on property that doesn't belong to you. How do you know this, sir? Because you won't answer my questions, so now I want to identify can I speak, you to find can out. Can I talk to your supervisor? Absolutely. Thank you. you. Okay, that's perfect. 514, thank you. <sighs> can you use 25 of me up here? I was get, my heart always starts beating every time I talk to a cop. I don't know you why. Don't listen, man. It, huh? it, it ain't got to be like that. No, I'm saying every time I you talk to you don't have to, to though. You know what I mean? Just chill, just conversation. I understand. <laughs> I understand that, but you know, with what's going on nowadays, cops fish a lot. Not here. So, you know, Not that's that, I, I like to make sure. You're on you're on property that you don't own. Okay. You don't know that. Sir. I know, I do know that you don't own this property. Okay. 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 So, you're on property that you don't own. Now, if you have permission to be here, that's fine. But you won't identify yourself, so I don't I don't know that you got permission to be here or not. Okay. Okay. So, it's no I... big deal. He'll be here in a minute. Thank you. Since Officer Thibault did not provide Mr. Escoto with probable cause for the stop, this appears to be a potential case of unlawful detention. While trespass is illegal in North Carolina, it is well known that trespass in the first degree only applies when a person trespasses or remains in a clearly enclosed or secure place. Given this, it is clear that Mr. Escoto did not break any law. Such a conclusion can be drawn because streets are public places and parking is not prohibited in public places except in exceptional circumstances. So he's on property that he doesn't own. I go to get out with him, he pulls through the yard to come out here. Mm -hmm. So then I drive around, block him off. He immediately doesn't want to identify himself, doesn't want to tell me why he's here. So now he only wants to speak to a supervisor. So that would be you because I don't have a supervisor. Yeah. What's up? I don't know, I was at the little part right of the concrete he pulled behind me. I, I saw he was reading my. He was the concrete right here, right the here where the where the little shadow is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was there, and he yeah. pulled behind me. Started uh, checking my plates. Yeah. So uh, he's. Do you live here? When I don't answer questions. When when. So that's what I. Got. So when when I, when I was when I was. I believe you were difficult the last time we talked to you mm -hmm. at the park. I didn't. Did I speak with you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is obviously. Take us to the park. Because you were on lunch break, correct? Are you on lunch break today? I don't answer. Well? I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions. No okay. sir. So you're driving in this state though, and you're on property that is not yours. You understand that, right? I don't answer questions, sir. Do you understand that? I don't answer questions. Okay. That's a question. I can't. I don't. I don't so, answer questions. So listen, man. You're mm -hmm. making this more difficult than it needs to be. Mm -hmm. You understand that, right? I don't answer questions. You understand what I'm saying? I don't answer questions. Is this what I got? You do realize that, like, you acting like this is not helping the situation. I understand. I'll answer that question. I understand that. You understand that, right? Yes. Okay, so what is the reason for being difficult? Please tell me. I don't answer questions, but let me ask you a question. Am I yeah. being detained right now? What's that? Am I being detained right now? Yes, you are. For what reason, sir? For what reason? Yes. For you're on private property that is not yours. How do you know this? What's that? How do you know this? This vehicle does not return to here. You will not provide any information that say mm -hmm. this property is yours. We patrol this area every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. All right. 
and your car has never been here and you don't live in that trailer you understand the police department is a block down the street mm -hmm. right I'll, I'll answer that question okay. yes i do okay so if you can tell me that you're here visiting a friend and we can verify that we'll be out of here i don't answer questions sir but so if that's I don't, not that's if not I don't answer none question. of your questions what's going to happen to me at this point what what do you mean what's going to happen because i'm missing my my lunch break because he did he told me that I was being detained after i was being detained i told him i'll speak to a supervisor yeah so, I so are you know going to speak with me or are you going to play these games because i'm all i'm all with being a grown adult mm -hmm. in this situation okay and i understand your rights and all that mm -hmm. okay all right am, am i required to answer your questions you are at this point because he is out with you okay so as a suspicious vehicle mm -hmm. on private property okay so at this point yes, okay all we need is reasonable suspicion you understand that correct it is important to note that mr escoto prudently invoked his fifth amendment right to remain silent when necessary the Fifth Amendment ensures that individuals cannot be compelled to provide incriminating information. When a person exercises his or her fifth right, it does not mean that he or she is guilty and it cannot be used against him or her. Suspicion I don't need of what? What's that? Suspicion of what? That any type of criminal activity may be afoot. Like what, All right, sir? being able to invest, until our, our investigation or our suspicion is dispelled, mm -hmm. we can ask you questions. Okay. Okay? Do, Do I you have to answer that? them? What's that? Do I have to answer your questions? You have the, re my, the right to remain silent in anything then, you want. Then I'll do. remain okay? silent, sir. No, until not, until you're done with your investigation, I'll be all. However, what you're leading us to, mm -hmm. and this is completely unnecessary, okay? So if I'm not doing anything wrong, listen, I'm supposed to prove listen. to you that I'm not doing nothing wrong? Is that how it works? I'm asking listen. a question to okay. you that you're a supervisor. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me explain it to you one more time, okay? You're on property that does not belong to you. Correct. Yes. Because you don't answer questions. But that is correct. 100% truth at this point. Mm -hmm. An officer sees that you're here, goes out with your vehicle, and sees that the vehicle is occupied by one individual, which is you. Yes. That's truth. Okay? So, from that point, what are you doing here, sir? Do you live here? No, I don't. I don't answer questions. Okay. And that's what I told him. So, do you understand what our job is yes okay okay investigate so away if you're not where I'm you're not, supposed I'm not to stopping be you. go knock on their door he, he would he would tell me now let's say this listen if i would have answered all your questions we would be done okay that's what i'm saying so what's like, the you're difference? making this more so difficult. what's the difference if i would answer because your questions, listen mm -hmm. listen mm -hmm. listen a reasonable yes. person would answer those questions okay okay and they would understand that when a law enforcement officer stops you in a vehicle, that you're required to identify yourself at that point. Okay, I'll, okay? I'll, I'll make sure with the chief if that's correct, because that's why I'm recording this. That's because fine. We're recording then, too. Then I'll then I'll take it up a little higher and find out if you know if everything that you guys have done from the moment that I started recording was mm -hmm. correct. We'll we'll find out because that, I know I'm not doing nothing uh, wrong. You're absolutely doing something wrong by not identifying yourself at this point. Have I committed a crime? What's that? Have I committed a crime? Have you committed a crime? Yes. As far as what? Trespassing? Trespassing. Yes, yes. you have. So you have committed so the law for trespassing, don't I have to be told to leave in order for me to be trespassed? What's that? Don't I have to be told to leave a place in order to be trespassed? You could be, yes. All right, but if it's posted, no. Or if... Or if the resident calls and says there's somebody here and I don't want did, him here, did someone we can call? come make contact with you. Did someone call? And I want to know. No, no okay. one called. Okay. Again, I don't understand why you're making this more difficult than it needs to be. I have my reasons, but I'm not gonna do. I'm not, well, you I'm did not this last time too. I'm not at gonna, the park. I'm not gonna do. So it's not. That. It's not something new with you. What did I do last time at the park? The same exact same thing with this officer. And what happened? What's that? What happened that you time? You ended up identifying yourself once I spoke to you. I did not. Yes, you, yes did. you did. I didn't show anything. Did I? Yes, yeah. You identified yourself. Oh, I'm so. sorry. Yeah. So that's why, so, like, so, okay. So, in that time, I. If you have an issue with the way things so, are being handled, I have no problem with and, talking and to I you. And I do, and I do, and that's why I'm recording this because I have my reasons. Now, I'm going to let you do your job. I'm not stopping you from doing that. No. Is that true? What you're doing right because, now. Because, look, listen, don't I'm I have the right to remain silent? You always have the right to remain silent. I, 
if you haven't told me I, I committed a crime. Do you have a driver's license? I don't answer questions. Okay. Protected by the Fifth Amendment to the Constitution, Mr. Escoto can rightly refuse to identify himself as he has not been involved in any criminal activity. Despite repeated questions about a specific offense justifying his detention, the officer avoided providing a clear answer, preferring to redirect the interrogation. This tactic appears to have been deliberate, possibly aimed at obtaining more information to justify a lawful detention based on reasonable suspicion. So see, here we go. Mm -hmm. So you expect us to let you drive off. How, yeah. What have I done wrong? I've already told you that. What? You're on property that does not belong to you. How correct? do you know that? What's that? How do you know that? Because I know you do not live here. Who told you this information? What's that? Who told you this information? That's from knowing the community. The okay. street that we drive down hundreds of times every single day. Okay. Okay? So you know so everyone again, that, know, that lives listen. here. No, I'm asking a question. You Go know ahead. everyone that lives here. You know all their friends. You know everybody. You know everybody that's doing business here. You know everybody that works here. It, it, is that correct? And I don't. No, I, that's not correct. And, and I don't belong. Just that's, the way I look there, I don't belong there, right? Um, people don't park right there, on somebody's front lawn that don't live here. You understand that, right? I don't answer questions, sir. So you keep asking questions that I don't want to answer. So it's just a don't, don't I have the right to not answer the questions I don't want to answer? You cannot answer whatever so you want. So I remain silent. So whatever question you ask, mm -hmm. I'll play. I'll, I'll plead the fifth. I'll stay quiet. Okay. And I'll let you do what you gotta do. Like I said, I know I'm not doing Listen, nothing man. wrong. I know I, I know I'm not doing nothing no wrong. No one's even saying you're doing anything wrong. So why am I being detained? What? Why am I being why is he asking for my license when nobody has called, nobody has told me to leave, I, my car wasn't off. Oh, was it off? You started driving. I'm asking, was was my car I don't know. You don't answer questions either? I said I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, just playing. Sorry. Right, look, I, I get nervous. I'm done with you. Okay, go ahead. Do what Are you, you going to identify yourself or not? What's going to happen if I don't show any identification? Well, well, I can't let you leave because I don't know if you have a driver's license. In the encounter between Mr. Escoto and Officer Thibault, the absence of formal complaints about Mr. Escoto's presence suggests Officer Thibault may be fishing for a crime. This raises concerns about racial profiling, as the officer suspected Mr. Escoto who is not Caucasian, for simply being parked in the neighborhood. Officer Thibault's insistence on Mr. Escoto producing his driver's license without legal cause hints at potential abuse of power. Legally, a citizen is not required to present identification without just cause, which was lacking in this situation. Such conduct falls under police misconduct, covering inappropriate actions, including racial profiling, Instances of misconduct can trigger investigations by internal affairs or external oversight agencies, leading to sanctions for the involved officer, depending on the severity of the misconduct. Now stay here. Do you want me to turn off the car? I'll put, turn it off. Keys on board. Cause I, like, like, sir, I haven't been told to leave. I was in the, listen, I was in the little. Listen, listen. I'm listening. Go ahead. I understand what you're saying. Okay. As far as you haven't been told to leave and that, you know, you, you know, were just parked here. I'm sorry However, to interrupt you. Last time I spoke to your chief, mm -hmm. he told me that nobody should have kicked me out of that place, that I was in a public place. I was kicked out of it. Okay. So my thing is this. Mm -hmm. Who took you saying just because of your knowledge of the people that live here. Now, where's the sign that I said that I can't park there? to turn around to do anything listen, listen. now i was gonna finish but i'll, I'll let you i understand down. where you're going with this all right and you have a valid point okay as far as are there no trespassing signs posted on the property i don't see any okay so i'll agree with you on what that. if i was looking for land listen. what if i'm looking for information then, to buy then let me ask you this mm -hmm. which which i am let, by the way let me but go ahead let me ask you this mm -hmm. okay just again we can play this game all day. I'm all not right. playing no games, sorry. This is my no. life. I have to be sure of okay. what I Are what you going to let me talk or are you going to continue? Ahead. All right. However, most people, most people, mm -hmm. when they come into contact with law enforcement, all right, mm -hmm. will state 
Hey, what are you doing here? You're on private property. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I will be leaving. Okay? You understand that? Or they'll say, oh, well, I'm checking out this land because I'm interested in buying it and I saw it for sale. I'm playing the fifth every time you ask you a know? question. So if I stay quiet, I don't want you to listen, think man, it's... No, you're listen. really not worth my time. I'm okay. going to be honest with you. Okay? Because I, I, I feel see, sorry for that, bro. I, I mean, you're really not. Okay? Okay. You need to leave. I'm All trying right. to leave. I was as soon as your cop pulled behind me, I, I tried to leave. He didn't even have to say anything. Listen. As soon as he pulled behind me, I knew that it, it was going to be a problem, b that I was parked there, mm -hmm. that because he said I was parked. So I tried so leaving. If you knew that, I wasn't going to go. I was, if you knew I was, you were doing nothing finish. wrong. Let me finish. I wasn't going to go back because he was blocking my path. Gotcha. At that point, what am I going to do? There's another exit. So nowhere it says you can't drive through there to here. I, there's nothing and then if if people didn't want your involvement yeah on this tag i understand what you're saying all right mm -hmm. i'm just again this is twice you're i know you're explaining in you circles I, mean? I understand and but at this point but we're, we're stuck understand. we're stuck because, because i'm not I, showing id we have if i don't have a reason to show you id I'm a, I'm a plead the fifth to every question you ask. So, see, I, like I said, do what you need to do. I'm not stopping you from doing nothing. If you, but see, we're not again. Mm -hmm. Like, I look at things as we can we can play this, but you're really not worth my time, honestly. So can I? Leave? You're not worth me ripping out of your vehicle. Okay, I'll, I'll get out. <laughs> you don't have to. You know do what that. I'm saying? I'm just saying. It's if you not tell worth me to it. get out, I'll get out. You don't have to rip. You don't have to threaten me with ripping me out of well, the I'm car. Well, I'm just letting you know if like that's what you're looking for, like for this to escalate any further, it's not going to. It is clear that neither officer is in good faith, and Officer James inexplicably continues to argue with Mr. Escoto, aware that the situation is not worth his time. This unnecessary prolongation of the traffic stop is another violation of Mr. Escoto's rights. What I want okay. to be ripped out of my own car. Because that's what some people do, all right? Okay. They, they, I'm not most they do this to get a reaction from us. Again, dude. I was like, enjoying my lunch break. That, the last dude, thing I want the the to I wanna be doing is to be talking to you on my lunch break. I only get an hour for lunch break. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm, a, I'm about to be, I'm gonna have to clock in. So I'm gonna have to start charging you by the minute because I have to be working somewhere else. So. This is what I'm trying to tell you. There's yeah. there's guides that you have to follow. So I'm making sure that you stay by it. Yeah. Now, if I if so you tell even, me I have to do something because mm -hmm. if not you all arrest me, then I'll do it. Then so say it. those words and then I'll th threaten me with arrest. If I don't show you show you show you my ID, then I'll show you my ID. Well, that's ridiculous. It's but. ridiculous, right? Because you know what's gonna happen after. I'm gonna have to go make a complaint on what's your badge number? My and badge number nine seven four four eight zero five eight. What what's your name? badge number, sir? And what's your badge number, sir? And your name, please. Opal Humber. And your name and badge number, sir. The car. I, I, it's blocking. The Carlo. The Carlo. That's Italian. <laughs> you're, you're correct. Are you still on Hayward and, Boulevard? And can you ask for the badge number of your officer? And the name, please, because he's the one that pulled me over. If you could, yeah, please. this is PFC T boat again, All the right. same person. Yeah, so I don't answer questions, whatever question you gotta ask, I play the fit, sir. That's fine, you can you can plead the fit. Okay, thank I you. I told you that from the get go. All right, and I've been saying I've just tried. You said you wanted to talk to me because your, so offer, I came your officer is detaining me, yes, and I explained to you why, right. And am I Reasonable free to go? Suspicion. Am I free to go? It would help. Now listen. Uh, answer my question and then you can go. Am I free to no. go? You haven't answered a single one of my questions to dispel our myth. Because that I'm there's not. Any I'm not I don't have to. If okay. I can, if I call a lawyer right now, stay quiet. Don't say nothing. Yeah. So so why am so I going to go? Let me ask you this. Uh, let me let me. Maybe finish. you could answer this. But one let me finish. Without let me, incriminating. Let yourself. me finish. Mr. Escoto tried to explain his unjustified detention to Officer James who responded by mocking him and maintaining an authoritarian stance. Officer James's dismissive attitude, smirking and implicit coercion reveal a disregard for the fair treatment expected from law enforcement. So why am I gonna go against the advice my lawyer tells me when I'm talking to an officer? Mm -hmm. My job is, my thing is to do, let you do what you need to do. I'm letting you, I don't wanna speak to you. I didn't wanna speak to him. Then he says, oh, you wanna go the route? Give me your ID. So. 
at that point when when I asked, I asked him, "Am I being detained?" He said, "Yes." Yes. So now I want to sp speak to yep. to you yep. that you're his supervisor, yep. correct? Correct. And so then my you point, understand. Now, now, I said the same finish, thing. Let me correct? finish. If you don't now, if you don't tell me, I'm free to go, and if I'm being detained, tell me why, and if not, and after that, I'll talk to your supervisor. I told you why. You're okay. Being detained. Can I? Am and I now free you to expect go? me to let you drive off no, without verifying that you have a good driver's I license? I don't expect you to do nothing, sir. That's what you're asking us to but do. But your job. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so if I don't show you my license, what's gonna happen? You're gonna keep me here all day? No. Am I gonna miss work? No. I'm gonna tell you not to drive. Okay. So I'm not gonna be able to drive. Right now, you're gonna stop me from driving. What's that? You're gonna stop me from driving. You can make your own decisions. So can I, can Is you move his car so I can? He's got a customer. What's his name? Mr. Contreras. Contreras? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, like again, am I free to go? Well, not yet. Not yet. Okay. No. What are you waiting for right now for so you can let me go? To make sure the vehicle's clear and... Okay. I'll, I'll be waiting for that. Who's... Can I get out? Because it's hot and yeah, the sun is... Uh, as long as you're detaining me, I'd rather not stay in the car. Yeah, I'm going to close the window because... Oh. Second time I'm being stopped. Missed my lunch for Mr. Tebow here. So second time I'm not gonna. Sh I'm gonna play more by my rights. Last time I gave my rights away. Not this time. Would you agree with that, sir? Or are you not listening? Not listening. All right. So here's where we're at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, you're not you're not worth any type of lawsuit, use of force event, anything like that. All right. So are if you, you don't are you listen, are you are you going to listen to me? I'm trying to. Okay. Without you so, threatening me, and then I'm if I you get don't hyped. have a driver's <laughs> license, uh -huh. which you know for fact, yes or no. Okay then I would not drive. That's my advice to you. Take it, leave it, okay? Because when we stop you on a traffic stop, if that happens, you are required to identify yourself, okay? You understand that, correct? I don't answer questions, sir. Okay. I told of you course any not. questions you Anyways, ask. Anyways, you let me can finish. listen. I'll, let me finish my answer. No, let me finish. Okay, I'll let you finish. Since we can't make contact with that homeowner right now to verify that you're allowed to be here, all right? You can sit here until they get home. Sit here. So can All I right. leave? Am I free to go? You're free to go. Can he move his car? Because he's, he's blocking moving. my way. He's Thank moving. You. Thank you. Oh, right. can I have an incident number for this, please? Yeah, you want it? Yes, please. I'm asking Central for it. 514. Central 514. And can I get the name of your supervisor, please? Lieutenant I'll... Jenkins. Thank you so much. Lieutenant number, please. Can I get can I get your card? Can I get your card, please? Twenty two hotel one two seven five eight. No, I don't have a card. Yep. Does anybody here if have a card? If you'd like it written down, I can write it down for you. Does it? Yes, I want that. But also, I'm asking: Does anybody here have cards, personal cards, that you're supposed to give to to, no. to people? I'm we just don't. asking. I'm, I don't know. We I'm don't. I'm ignorant to when it comes to that. That's what I'm asking. Well, you seem to know everything else. Oh. So. <laughs> Thank you, bro. I'm Catholic. I, I study a lot, you know? <laughs> well, you obviously don't. Okay? So well, where, again, where am I wrong? What's that? Teach me. Where am I wrong? Because let me let me tell you where you're wrong. That I'm keeping if you here? If officers have reasonable suspicion, mm -hmm. all right, that criminal activity may be afoot, such as trespassing is a property crime. Okay? Yes, ma'am. You are required to identify yourself. You understand that, right? I don't answer questions. Of course not. <laughs> but consider this your education session, okay? Because the next time not it's not going to end up not like this. Not a good one, bro. You showed more attitude than everything. Can you write down the incident number, please? Yeah, we're doing it right now. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your professionalism. Mr. Escoto continued to talk to the police after he was officially released. <laughs> You weren't, y'all weren't my time, worth my time giving y'all my license. That's why I didn't show you, because you guys are fishing. That, that's what he was doing. No, it's called, we have a lot of crime in Partyville. I know so, you live in so, Bluffton, so part, we have a lot of crime so part, here. So, so park right crime. there, what's the crime about park right there without you knowing me? No, no, without, 
Nobody has called you. Nobody. I, I was still in my car. Listen, I, listen let me finish. Let me I, finish. I, I know where you're I going. Was, I had just pulled in here to turn to turn back to work because I was going to go Bluffton and come back. As soon as he pulled over, I was replying back to a message gotcha. and he pulls behind me. It wasn't not even five minutes, bro. Not even five not minutes. Even and five he minutes. gets behind me. So my question is this. How do you know a crime is a foot when I haven't even left my car? He he didn't even look. Nothing. He didn't even see if I, if I was. Okay. So, like I said, okay. I respect your I, job. I'm I respect it. I respect your job. I'm completely, like, cool with you as you're being with me right and now. I, and okay. I know it sucks. I, yeah. I sucks coming across with people that won't show something because last time, like you said, I ID myself, right? Yeah. What crime was I, was I committed that time? Who called? I even asked him. Who called me in? Then I, then, let me finish. Then I went to the, to the city council. They told well, this place. They told me I should have not been kicked out. That it was the first time someone was kicked out. I don't know why they told me that. It could be, that could have been wrong, right? Signs I agree that. that. I, that you but can't park let me there. finish. Then I went with your chief. Mm -hmm. Your chief told me that he should have not kicked me out. Yeah. That, so I'm getting mixed signals here, bro. So and I, I, I respect, you. I respect y'all. But I know that if I'm not committing a crime, listen, which I man, know I'm not, listen, I'm not going to show ID. And that listen, was it. If you just pulled in, that's one thing. But if you're sitting here on private property, that's you can't say that those people said you could be there. All right. We're going to get out with you and make sure everything's OK. OK. And ask you, what are you doing here? You know what I'm saying? Because we have a job to do. We're now, not just reacting. Now, if, be if somebody hasn't, hasn't. Now, commit... most people. Let me finish. Sorry. I, I if you let that. me finish. Yeah, go I, I apologize. Right. Go ahead. Most people. Most people, and I'm not saying you have to be like most people, but most people who are, are not doing anything wrong will be like, you know what, officer? I'm on my lunch break. This is my day. Everything's cool. You know what I'm saying? And not pull the whole... I don't answer I don't questions. Answer questions and I blah, play the fifth. Yeah, I feel and make it more difficult should, than it needs I, to I be. I feel like I should have done is... that last... Look, look. If I feel like if I should have done that last time, it would have been different. You know... Because I know I was somewhere where I'm allowed to be. Mm -hmm. So I was kicked out of a place I was allowed to be. Okay. You don't know if I'm not allowed. Well, not you because you're a supervisor. Well, there's he, no one here to verify that you can But be let here. me finish. And again, you didn't you, provide that information. But you don't know I'm this. Here looking at you, don't, you, know, you don't know against it or you don't know in favor. I'm not saying to be in yeah. favor of me, but I'm not saying. But I don't know. You're. That's why we get out. So I, again, I have to go, bro. I'm, I'm, I, so I, I, thank if you, you for the understand time. the whole reasonable suspicion thing. I do. That's why we I, would get out you're and supposed, like, look. investigate to be like, okay, this dude's telling the truth. We're gone. Okay. Okay. Now, but I have. Oh, this dude's not telling the truth, and he's not supposed to be here. Do and I, this and that. Do I not have the right to else. not help y'all? What's am, that? Am I supposed to help you with the investigation against me? Is, if you're doing I, nothing wrong, then what are you worried about? That's because, my question. Because this, he started fishing. Okay, such so as. So once people start fishing, fishing. What, what I let, I let fishing? them fish. Let them fish. What are we calling because, fishing? What? Asking you for your ID? Asking questions of, why you're of, informa of information that you shouldn't be asking for. Okay, so if you pull me up for, for, for one of those questions. If you pull, I, I can't give you so much. <laughs> but if you pull me for exactly. something for... For, if you pull me over for something that I for an infraction, I'll give you my I'll give you whatever you want. But if I'm just well, I, if so. I'm just somewhere where you think let me, let me let me finish where you think that I don't know them, that they don't know me, that I have nothing to do with them. You already you're you're Listen, making making it look that me, I'm doing something wrong you, when I'm not. But I have to go. Bro. I would love to stay here. I would love I to you record y'all whole day. You, you like doing this, and it's cool, man. I get it. Like, I'm not... It is what it is. Now, is right? it since last time? I, I started reading a lot. Yeah. So whenever people ask me for... Too. ask me When they ask me for an ID, mm -hmm. when am, am I required to show an ID? You know? So what if did I'm, you come up with? Huh? Do I need probable cause to ID you? Well, once you detain me... Surely you've read once, about probable cause. Once you detain me, right? Mm -hmm. Do I have to show you ID? Once What's I'm detained... Am I required by law to show you ID once I'm detained here in South Carolina? Are you required by law? By law, yes. To, to show, show me once, ID. Once a cop makes contact with me, I have to show you my ID no matter what. That's what the law says. If we can articulate reasonable suspicion that criminal activity is afoot, yes. So what was I do? Yourself. Well, what did he articulate to you because he did it to me? 
that I was about to do or about to commit. That you were on this property. No, not, not the pr not the property. I was underneath on the, si the tree, right? No, here. I was on the side. On the, the side. side. So, am I? Am I? Am I? If I have an emergency, can I? Can I park right here on the side yeah, of the road? And and can a cop stop me and and ask for a license? And then an and then and then say, you're detained if you don't show me a license. No, he. he you see the la you the language. The I, I get what you're saying. Okay. If we were on the street, I get you. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I you're saying you. just because I'm pulled in a little but because bit because you're on somebody done. else's property. Mm -hmm. All right. And can't just, give us a reason why you're here. I won't. You know what I'm saying? Not that I can't. I won't. So it's different, right? Because I could have a reason, but I'm not giving you a reason. Well, you don't have a, a one that comes from the property owner. I get How it. do you know that? How did you, you you just stated that you haven't spoke with the owner? Listen, I, man, I could be doing no, I'm just trying to give listen. you a, I could be doing something. That the okay. owner told me to. A reasonable person. You've never been here before. <laughs> I understand. You're, you're never calling me. Been you're call, you're on calling their me. Front lawn before. You're calling me. No, I've parked here before. Not on their front lawn. Maybe I was. I was not parked on the front lawn. As soon as your officer started getting my information, I decided I, that I couldn't pull back. Uh -huh. So I saw a way out. Right. Yeah, if there's yeah. a way out, that means I can drive through it. Am I wrong? Well, that's a drive-through, right? That's you see. Their you see house. how you. See, <laughs> That's not a public access way. But no. if your if your officer is blocking my path, right? He hasn't got out of his car. He hasn't detained me. He hasn't turned his light on. So am I free to go at that moment? Did he know you were in the vehicle at that time? Yes. When the yes. Came out. It came I, out with out with the vehicle. I had my window open and I had my my, my arm out. Mm -hmm. So my question to you is: At that point, if he hasn't detained me, if he just pulls behind me, if I cop. So for next time, for my, for my, for my, this is honest, for my information, is it best for me to stay there, get out of my there. car, or can I, if I see a uh, exit, can I, can I exit? I would stay there. Because but again, mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. I wasn't detained yet. Reasonable suspicion. But I wasn't detained yet. If you would have drove off, so he it's probably like, would have conducted a traffic stop on you. And that would have been perfect for me. But now, but what reason does he have to stop me on the road? Oh my God. Dude, I know, I know. We're going, we're going. Times. to I have to go, bro. Not I appreciate for a traffic infraction. Okay, there's a thing. Look it up. Right. And he did stop me. Look it up. He, look, he, he look did up it. reasonable suspicion. Okay. That I'm, a, I have to be about to commit, co committing or coming from committing. It's, it's like three past. Yeah, about to commit. Yeah. So I, right. I, I do know. I just can't so explain. You understand it so much. that we can investigate. Yes. Based on but being I able to articulate mm -hmm. reasonable suspicion. Okay. Yes. We can investigate you, or a person mm -hmm. until that. And that's, that what, and that's what I told them. Investigate suspicion away. Suspicion is dispelled. But okay. But it Which doesn't. Were there? But I have to. I don't I mean, have you to don't dispel ID it. Yourself? Don't ID yourself. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. I, I don't care. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then we're good. I'm just saying. <laughs> we're good. I'm just trying to give you advice for the future. Don't park on people's property, whether you think it's yours or you're supposed to be here or not. All right. And then just read up some more. All I've right? been reading. I've been reading. Keep reading. Today was a was a good day. Today? Can you? I didn't do nothing wrong. A I'm cop stopped. No, no, I'm, that you I'm, did. I'm not saying you. I'm not stating you did. But I'm saying your buddy stopped me. He detained yeah, me mm -hmm. until I called you. He. That's when he's look. Look where he's at. Not over here. Be, because I had to call you. I'm gonna be honest. With and you. that's the look. That's I the problem. If he would, if he would detaining you when you're trying to leave when he's trying to go out with you. I understand okay? that. I don't, I don't disagree. You know, with you know what it, I would have been fine with? Yeah. Him saying you're detained. As soon as you're detained because you're in prior property, you're not supposed to be here. I would have gave him a maybe, maybe or maybe not. I would have let him do his thing. Mm -hmm. If he needs to arrest me, go ahead, arrest me. But like you I see, y'all won't do that. We're not going that route. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Yeah, because you know how it is. Yeah, I appreciate I your time. Look, I, I really appreciate that, that you gave me this time because I feel like this is, this is where we can, you know, because last time he left me really unsatisfied. Okay. So well, you can sit now, and... now that, that I called you, I'm more satisfied. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. It's important to note that the officer who initially approached Mr. Escoto didn't demonstrate overt intentions for a police stop. Without activating lights or showing reasonable suspicion of criminal activity, as required by legal precedent, the detention could be deemed unconstitutional and illegal under both federal law and North Carolina statutes.
Mr. Escoto chose not to file a formal complaint, but discussed the incident with the police chief. The chief assured him that the officers involved would undergo a refresher course on police misconduct. As of now, it's unclear whether the officers faced accountability for their actions.